Hi everyone, welcome back to the Maybelline channel and the new series where me and Nikki basically compliment each other and talk about makeup. <laughs> Pretty <we> much. <laughs> We're back again with another look and this time we are doing each other's makeup. Basically she's gonna do a look of mine and I am gonna do a look of hers that I love. All right, so what, what look are you gonna do? So this look is back from 2017, actually. Ooh. But you were doing a full face of drugstore and mainly Maybelline. But I also really love the look and I wanna do a cut crease. So, yay! Oh, I remember that one. We're gonna slay that one. So we're gonna take a stroll to New York Fashion Week. Yes. And I am going to do a, a, an inspired take on this. The total look I really want to take inspiration from is the actual face chart. <laughs> that is so cool. I love that. The way I want to start my makeup, of course, I'm going to go full yes. coverage and I want to do a beat down yes. so I can be just like you and be perfect. So I'm going to use the Superstay foundation. So I'm going to take the Superstay full coverage foundation as well because I'm going to be working a lot on my lips right now and to get a perfect clean canvas, I like taking foundation as a little bit of a primer to cancel out all of the colors and then whatever I put on top really pops. Just stamp it on. I'm taking the Lasting Fix Powder in Banana, brand new, and I'm gonna use this to set the foundation, lock it in. So now, you're ready to go with all the colors. I'm taking the City Mini Palette in Graffiti Pop and I'm taking the blue, but I wanna make it a bit more pastel, so I'm mixing it with that lighter shade here. And I see that going on outside of the lip on the outer corner. I'm taking the purple from the Graffiti Pop and mixing it with that same lighter color. The blush, more pink. I'm taking another City Mini palette and this time it's Urban Jungle and this gold. I'm using the Lasting Fix Banana Powder as well. I've loaded up my sponge because I'm gonna bake with it. Putting the gold like on my cupid's bow as a base. And then I'm dipping into all the palettes. I'm taking Downtown Sunrise and I'm taking that chromey pink and that is going on top to get a mixture. I mean, when we did this look, we had to dip into everything, but of course it was fine. We weren't like filming the tutorial for it, but just to get colors from all the different palettes. So you're doing right. basically what we did. How do you like come up with like these runway looks, like how do you, like how does it happen? If it's with a designer, I'll often get inspired by the clothes or by their vision. Sometimes I'm just inspired by the model's face and that's what takes it to wherever it ends up. And then how long does it take you to like do that look? Here's the crazy thing too about runway. We'll do the looks at the test and yeah. then um, maybe we have hours to do that and to come up with the idea. Or maybe, you know, if it's, if it's a, a designer I know well, they'll give me like even a week ahead, they'll give me the ideas and I'll sit and play with looks. But on the day oh of the show, <laughs> sometimes you have 10 minutes to get the makeup on. Runway is so insane. That's what oh I think it made me a better makeup artist because working like that, you start to work really fast. You don't second guess yourself. You just do what you need to do. You know if you can fix anything because it's just makeup, it'll wipe off. It also kind of makes you more creative because you really think on your toes. I'm using the soft brown and this is the Tattoo Studio. This pencil lasts up to 36 hours. I'm doing the soft brown, but I'm actually gonna add in a warmer shadow on top just so it matches my red hair. So I'm just having a party on these lips. The first pinkish color I went in was the Ultimate in the color More Magenta. And now this vibrant orange is the Super State Matte Ink in the color Heroin. Okay, now I'm taking the Super State Ink Crayon in Treat Yourself. 
I'm, I'm just combining all the colors, don't mind me. So I'm taking another City Mini palette, and this one is Diamond District, and it has this like beautiful dark, dark blue color. I'm gonna go in with the Nudes of New York palette, and I am going to start with the shade Creator, and I'm gonna put that in my eyebrows to give a little bit more red, since the hair is so red. And I'm gonna also use that on my eye, in my crease, and I'm gonna try to do this cut crease like you did. Now I'm gonna go back in with that color I used in the brows, Creator, and I'm gonna to start to shape the crease of my eye. Ooh. I'm going in with Artist under the brow bone and then I'm going to use Explore in the crease and Darken further and then I'll do the cut. What are you doing? That looks amazing! <gasps> I don't know what's happening, but I'm doing so. That looks really cool, <laughs> and you just did that in two seconds. Oh my god, that was amazing. And I've just used the um, Mad About Town City Mini, and I'm using the two lightest shades, and just putting that on my lid so I can get that bright lid space that Nikki did in her original look. I'm gonna go in with the Tattoo Studio Gel Pencil in Deep Onyx, and I'm gonna start to trace out my wings. And I love to use a pencil. And I'm gonna go pretty big with these wings. Cause you know what I say, the no. bigger, the better. Okay. It's working. You look so fabulous right yeah, now. Cause I'm doing your makeup. <laughs> I don't do my makeup like this, but I'm gonna start, honey. I'm gonna go in with some Fit Me blush. I have the color peach and the color pink, and I'm just gonna dip into both of them. The color I'm using is Fit Me Pink, but really loading her on, okay? Like, loading her on. So I'm just glistening my face using the Master Chrome in 250. Sadly, it doesn't come like this with all the glitter. I did that for a TikTok. Um, but look at that. I'm just going on top with the matte ink in Driver to get that gorgeous nude that Nikki has in the picture. putting on some lifter gloss in ice as the final touch. I'm sorry, Erin. <laughs> I know you didn't look inspired by me, but I'm sorry. You took it to the next level and you look like Lana wow. Del Slay. Oh, I love Lana Del Slay. That's major. I feel and I'm so pretty, Bozo, honestly. the blending clown. <laughs> You look so cool. I personally like creativity and going a little wild that it just sends me. So I love it. I love what you did. And I feel really gorgeous and following your picture, I feel probably prettier than I've looked in a long time. So I think I'm just gonna start copying your pictures all the time. So get ready. <laughs> well, you do look amazing, girl. You do look oh, amazing. It. I have had so much fun doing makeup with you and talking to you and just hanging out and playing with makeup. I mean, it's been so much fun. If you enjoyed this series, please let us know down below in the comments which look was your favorite and also <laughs> what was your favorite story out of all the episodes. I know mine, it was all the vintage makeup with Erin. <laughs> I can't believe this is our last episode of the series, but if it, it's up to us, we're gonna do some more. So if you wanna see more Erin and Nikki, please make sure you subscribe to the Maybelline channel. Go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and hopefully we will see you in the future. I love you. Bye. <laughs> Bye.